One of my favorite um, topics to consider when we're thinking about the use of technology is the complexity at the intersection of technology and teaching. And so the topic um, that I'm going to talk about for a few minutes today is what I've termed for lack of a better word or lack of a better phrase, the um, technology pedagogy dance. And um, I put together just a couple of slides to guide us through this. Um, one of which, um, at this first one is really where I wanna start, which is, um, which is this idea that our pedagog pedagogical values really are at the heart of what we do. Um, so often when we talk about the use of technology, it's really common to hear people say something like, it's not about the technology, it's about the teaching, or it's, it's not about tech, it's about pedagogy. And I understand where that comes from because I think it's comforting, but it's also important to know that who we are as teachers and the pedagogical values and philosophies that we embrace are ultimately the most important thing um, that we bring to the classroom. Um, and that is always the case. That said, I fear that that statement, it's not about the technology, it's about the teaching, leaves a lot on the table that we still need to unpack and think about. So one of those is that technology isn't um, just uh, a thing we pull out to use to get something done in the classroom. Um, very often that's how we approach it. But in reality, technology changes um, and, and presents new opportunities um, in the classroom. It changes what's possible for us and for our students for better and for worse. Um, and when we when we only approach tech and its use in the classroom from a pragmatic standpoint and forget to explore this question of possibility, we often either lose out on opportunities or we end up um, embracing technology with the assumption that there isn't much to be considered when there's always more to be considered. And that brings me to this next, what I would call myth, which is that neutrality of technology or objectivity or fairness of technology is a myth that we like to embrace because it's comforting. Um, and it also, it gets baked into that statement of it's it's not about the technology, it's just about the teaching. Um, in that statement, it, we kind of assume that the technology, because it's secondary or or a background player in the classroom, it, it doesn't rise to the, le the, the occasion of needing to be examined and interrogated. Um, but in reality, um, all technologies, um, no technology is neutral, no tools are neutral. They all are created by humans who have their own philosophies and ideologies and agendas and needs and wants and cares. And, um, when we adopt a technology without considering what those might be, we might lose an opportunity and we may also end up doing harm. So ultimately the way I like to think of this is that we're not, it, this isn't a horse before the cart question. It isn't a um, chicken or the egg question. It's really a much more complex sort of dance between pedagogy and technology and us. Um, in this quote from Tim Fawns, he, he, I love the way he puts this, that pe pedagogy is not just a method and technology is not just a vehicle, um, that, that they are intertwined with each other in ways that require us to think about them and with our students really carefully. And finally, that brings me to this last point, which is that it's not just about how we use technology to teach, it's also about how we teach and what we teach about technology. Um, and this really gets at these questions of digital literacies, digital competencies, digital fluencies, whatever you, you or your institution may call them that we hear about. Um, as Kathy Davidson says, unless we make the study of information part of general education, we aren't preparing youth for the complexities of a world none of us fully fathoms. We need to be integrating these literacies into instructions in every subject and at every age from kindergarten to professional schools. 
these information technologies, these digital technologies, they are changing our world. They are changing our relationship with information and knowledge. We're seeing this played out on the small scale and at the, on the large cultural political stage. Um, and our students need to understand that. So while we may think, oh, I'm just using an LMS, um, it's how I'm delivering content to my students. Even an LMS is a technology. It stands in for somebody's um, philosophies, somebody's agendas, somebody's values. Does it align with yours? What does it tell your students about yours? And can we go even further by, by engaging our students with working with technology directly so that they become more adept, more agile, um, and more thoughtful users of, of technology and tools? And I will just leave us with this here at PSU. We have these habits of mind that are part of our general education um, requirement or part of the general education courses. Um, over the last couple of years, a group of us have worked on crafting what we call the digital habits of mind, which is a very short um, document that um, you can get to from this slide um, that kind of links this approach to using technology and thinking about technology to those habits of mind that are part of our pedagogical culture here at PSU. And I invite you to look at those and think about those and how they may um, intersect with or inflect um, your own teaching. Thank you.